Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Do they, these cadres and those people that we are with him, do they follow him around again? You are giving, you are opening doors for Dixon Jerry and his friends to come and capture a church. You will cry. You will cry. There are people that are supposed to be close to a church. They don't even have access to a church. I mean, the guys that sacrifice, the guys that understand the vision of PF. You don't give them access to a church. They want to go and meet a church. You block them. But you allow a criminal. Uh, it's, it's just that we have to respect the dead. If not, who doesn't know what Rupi Abanda and his children did in Zambia? Are they not the one that sold Zambia? And if I start talking, if I start mentioning the corruption, today Rupi Abanda is one of the richest presidents that we have in Africa within a short space of time. And he was looting with, with Dixon Jerry. Today, Dixon Jerry has turned back. And enter state house through the back door. And the, the problem, the idiot is not even eating with his mouth closed. Anything, he take picture. You want us to see you are with the president. You are a fool. You are you are an idiot. And you are with the president. And so what? There are people that talk to the president every day. They don't even make noise. You go to pres uh, presidential plan. You take picture. You are in the you are you are you are a fool. This in general, you are an idiot. You are, you, are, you are not even a smart criminal. When you are eating, anything MMD is dangerous. Please, be very careful. It's like PF. Satan will never repent. Their agenda is corruption. Once they enter into state house and capture a church, all the good things that you are seeing a church doing today, you will never do it again. HH has delivered IM, uh, uh, IMF. HH has given free education. All these things are happening because there are no too much corrupt people around him. Let the way you are allowing criminals like uh, Dixon Jerry, they will get in and teach him corruption and he will come back and cry. Those of you, security to our state house must be very careful. People like this in general have, should have nothing to do next to the president. He was calling me a charlatan. Look at an idiot. A stranded lawyer that cannot deliver a single case. Calling a, an international prophet. A, a prophet that is well respected, guided by state security. Calling me a charlatan. Look at a fool. Today you have managed, because you failed in Matero. Eh? To support PF, you felt the material. Then now you have found you've used back here to enter state house. You must be careful, state house people. Don't provoke people. If you are looking for people to work with, there are too many. You know them. Those that sacred there are many people that they lost their family members. They lost their money. They lost their time. Up to today, they cannot, they don't even have access to the district commissioners, not to talk of entering into the same plan with the president. Please, uh, President HH, don't, uh, don't allow these people to deceive you. We love you so much, and we want you to rule Zambia. The way you are doing, you are making us proud in Africa. I always say this, you are making us, you are making us proud in Africa. You are, you are really making us proud in Africa. But don't, don't allow such nonsense to happen. This is the way they came to kidnap Edgar Lung. From a very humble human being, he became a dictator. And they corrupt human beings. Don't allow that to happen. 
Dick Sinjeri must never be close to state house. These are criminals. They are the architect of criminality. Architect of criminality. They shouldn't be allowed there. Light and darkness has nothing in common to share. If you are looking for people to work with, look for people within your party. You have them. You have good guys. You have quality guys. Jito is there. Uh, uh, he's afraid that there are too many, two of these young guys that you have surrounded yourself with. Listen to them. You are, you are heading towards the right direction. There is nothing that you are going to learn from criminals apart from criminality. Somebody was telling me, no, this injury is the one who made the Galungu to, to, to surrender power when he lost election. Rubbish. Nonsense. Nonsense. I mean, rubbish. There is no one that forced the Galungu to surrender power. He lost the election. He needed to surrender power. These are the lies that are sh they are sharing with the President HH. No, this one was helping you secretly. This one was feeding you secret information. This one, rubbish. Nonsense. There is nothing like it secretly, nothing. If you didn't support a church openly when he was in opposition, you don't love him. You are supporting him today because he's a president. At he is the one who told Eddie Galungu. Who is Dick Sinjere to tell Eddie Galungu to leave? Eddie Galungu lost the election. What is there is for him to come down, hand over power. I know Eddie Galungu is a coward. Eddie Galungu does not have that type of mind to hold on to power when he loses election. Eddie Galungu started crying even before the announcement was made that HH has won. He's a, he's a coward. He's a cry, cry baby. Eddie Galungu and Tishimba Kambiri, same, same. These guys are cowards. They don't have that mind. They cannot manage to hold on to power when they lose the election. There is nobody that convinced him. He was willing to step down. So let those people that are now trooping state house because we convinced, we, we us and the European Bank that convinced uh, uh, Eddie Galungu to step down. It's a lie. There is nothing like conviction. Nothing. Eddie Galungu is a coward. We know the people that can take over presidency and they will not, no one will take it away from them. Somebody like Member. If member have to win election today, the first day he will be sworn in without judgment, a church is going to prison. There are so many of them, he will throw them into prison. He will not on that. He will be like Kagami. And he will be like uh, uh, this one for the president of uh, 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 Uganda. I'm telling you. That's why, you see, when I look at some of you in UPN that are eating today with your tummy now is as big as, as a frog that swallowed snake. You don't know, you are laughing everywhere like, a, like idiots. You don't know what is ahead of you. I'm telling you. You don't know. Usually, when you get power, a fool gets power and don't think about 20 years to come. If you don't cement your authority and make sure that by the time HH is finishing his tenure, he's handing over back power to an MMD person, uh, to, to, to a UPND person. If you don't have that agenda, know that all of you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. You will even regret Say, why did we even form government? We should have been with our family and enjoy our freedom than to spend the rest of our life in prison. I know what is ahead coming. That is why we need to protect HH. We need to protect him like, like never before. And when Eddie Galungu took over power, seven good years was like seven days. Where is he today? God is even merciful that he found a president like HH. 
Imagine if he found a, a president like Membe. By now, Eric Alungu was going to be himself. In jail, together with his family. And nobody will do anything. Nobody will talk anything. It's happening in Uganda. It's happening in Rwanda. What will stop it from happening in Zimbabwe, dear? What will stop it from happening in, in, in Zambia? These guys have a great agenda that you guys that are in power now must be very, very careful with what you are doing. I'm telling you, if not, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. And you will regret why you form government. You will regret why you, why you, why you join politics. That is why we must solidify our fence. Solidify our security around her church. So that he will not be captured. So that he will not be captured. If they capture him, you will regret. Even those of you that are in state house that are giving access to Dixon Jerry, you don't know who Dixon Jerry is. That idiot is that idiot is 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 shameless. How do you you failed in MMD? They removed you because of your massive corruption with Ropia Banda, Dora Celia, and so many of you. Few years later, you jump into the same party that removed you. They rejected you. They did not adopt you. You now jump into the state house. Eh? And uh, to make the matter worse, you people in, in, uh, you people in, uh, in the UPN that are allowing these guys close to HH, you bring them close to HH, but you cannot manage to bring your own people close to HH. Your own people are busy struggling. They are suffering in the streets. You are telling them to go and get CDF when you know that ma majority of them are not educated. How do you tell a cadre that does not know anything to, to write proposal and write something for about CDF? Do you understand politics? Eh? Do you understand politics? Politics is all about you fight, you eat. You fight, you eat. The people that fought with you, you are not bringing them close to the president. The people that you are bringing close to the president are criminals that campaigned against you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.